everybody, and welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Eric, your host, and we just celebrated a wonderful pineapple summer this year. But summer's been over for about, about a month now, and I just thought it was strange to have a pineapple summer come and go without saying goodbye. So strap in, relax, and let's real quick try to remember us the good ideas. Thanks, man. Now, there's no better way to kick off a pineapple summer than to get a pineapple shaved into your head. And that's exactly what I did. Oh yeah, now that's a good haircut. Thanks for the Kickstarter money. All right, let's check out some comments. So you drove home after all that wine drinking. Nice. Eric drinks wine, gets a haircut, and does a DUI. Why you drink drive, boy? Drinking wine is cool and all, but I hope you didn't seriously drink and drive while doing this, putting your own life at risk with the blah, 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 blah. You drunk driving, fuck. What? I didn't drive drunk. I Ubered to the haircut and Ubered back. What? Where's this coming from? I never! Oh, that? No, I wasn't drunk when I did that. You see, that's called movie magic, where I, I can film something the next day when I'm sober, and then cut it into the thing so that it looks like it happened on the same day. But I, I can see where you got confused. After all, I'm, you know, wearing a completely different fucking shirt and everything. So that, that's on you guys. I'm gonna reply to this real quick. Now, nah, I wasn't drunk, just really, really high. And post! Now, you'll know when I'm drunk because I'll be screaming at children. All right, now, after I got this pineapple haircut, I started seeing pineapples everywhere. Like here, and here, and here, and look at this pineapple. Man, even conspiracy theorist Mark Dice was tweeting about pineapples. Is pineapple a gender yet? I can't keep up with all this liberalism. Hashtag trans rights are human rights. Why's he gotta be such a fuck? All right, I'm gonna reply to this. Yeah, hey, uh, Pineapple Eric, let me try one on this guy. Oh, sure, yeah, lady hair Eric, yeah, go for it. At Mark Dice, I bet you slay more pussy than a teenage serial killer working his way up to humans and tweet. Now that's a good tweet. Yeah, I felt good about it. Thanks, you dopey fuck. All right, well, I'm gonna show you guys what a pineapple prank looks like. Uh oh, how's he gonna prank her? This prank's gonna happen any second now. Hey, Pineapple Eric, did you hear we lost Terry Dean Stanton? What? No way, come on, that. Oh, fuck, that sucks. I thought he was great in a straight story. Yeah? Are, are you. What are you doing, a bit right now? I'm not doing a bit. Oh, he just gives her the pineapple. Huh, that's a strange prank. Well, let me drop a little pineapple of my own in the comments section here. I pranked my mom like this, but instead of handing her a pineapple, I got gay married to our town's priest. Dude, my mom was freaking out. Best prank ever. Anyway, my priest husband died of old age a year later and left me the church in his will, so win-win on that shit. Now I host daddy nights there on Tuesdays and therapy night on Wednesdays, which I skip because there's nothing wrong with me. And post! All right, that's a pretty good comment. Now let's check out this viral video called Pen Pineapple Apple Pen and play. I have a pen, I have an apple. Wait, hang on, I, I thought this video had like a guy in it, like a wacky looking dude. And, oh, I see, this is the sexy version. This no sexy. Ah, nuts, so I guess you can't please everybody. Well, let me try to brighten this guy's day up with a little bit of summer sunshine that I've been hanging on to. I put my dog in a headlock while watching this until he passed out, then I dumped him down my neighbor's chimney. Blame it on the pineapple summer, baby. Best summer ever, except for the memes. We got some pretty shitty memes for this summer, like that the floor is nonsense and Mr. Worldwide. I mean, I get I'm too old to have any say in meme culture, but when I was a kid, we printed out pictures of Goatsy and Tub Girl and stuffed them in each other's lockers, so that when they opened their lockers, they looked like fucking creeps when the pictures just spilled out all over the place. I don't give a fuck how that dude sprinkles salt on a steak. Let's see him stretch his asshole out till it looks like a whale's mouth trying to swallow a colony of shrimp and post okay now what else happened during the summer uh, show I, I forget huh oh but near the end of the summer some stuff happened like uh, Ted Cruz ate another booger but this time metaphorically oh and Mbatu Shek Denelli got sent to Shek the Jaily look at that oh this poor guy let's send him a tweet nope that's right he got banned from Twitter maybe he's live streaming or said no that's right he's in jail <sighs> All right, well, we'll have to circle back around on this uh, next summer when he's covered in Aryan Brotherhood tattoos. Okay, let's find another uh, YouTube video with pineapple in the title. Oh, here's a good one. Shredding pineapple and other fruits. Seems appropriate, and play! Ah, shit, there it goes. Just like the pineapple summer. Hey, 10 bucks says I already know what this comment section is going to be full of. Are you giving the shredded parts to the kids in Africa? Kids in Africa could have eaten that shredder. Starving kids in Africa could have eaten that shredder. There's always that one guy who says you could have given that to African kids. Put your penis in the machine. Kids in Africa could have ate that metal. Shred a gum or a grenade, bam. WTF, dude, kids in Africa could have eaten that shredder. What happens when you put your penis inside? 
You wasted food, LOL JK. My father was killed by a potato shoved down his throat. You forgot Hillary Clinton. Well, fuck, I guess I owe you all 10 bucks because I thought the comment section was going to be a little more something like this. Hey, nice fruit shredder, asshole. The only thing that could clog up those blades is the sheer volume of documentation hidden in government facilities around the world about the existence of the Anunnaki, a race of aliens that lives in the hollow center of our planet. Yeah, I got an idea. Flip that shredder over and let it tunnel down a couple miles so we can pop into the world underneath and get ourselves some alien hand jobs. I read in the Bible that these little fuckers can fly, too, so I want to ride one of them while banging it from behind as we soar over a herd of bizarre horse-like creatures. I'm nutting buckets over here just thinking about it. Hey, you guys ever slap a cop and get away with it? Just asking for a friend. All right, fuck homeless kids and I jizz into fans from behind. Hashtag Florida voter. And post! All right, well that about wraps up our goodbye to pineapple summer, but don't spend too much time looking back because there's still so much to look forward to. Like my next haircut, for instance, which is gonna blow your fucking mind, and you can help fund it right now on my new Kickstarter, Eric Takes Xanax and Gets a Buzz Cut. I've got some great back rewards for this one, like, uh, I don't owe you shit, and I'll send you a toenail. Also, for $600, I'll shut down the whole Kickstarter and keep everyone's money. By the way, like with every other Kickstarter, this does have a delivery date, but you want to ignore that. I'm just going to wait another two years to let my hair grow out and then maybe complete this project when it gets funded. Which it will. But all that aside, I do want to say that this has truly been the best summer of my teaching career. And I have all of you to thank for that. Each and every one of you, my dear students. And there's so many of you now. I could sit here and reminisce about the last few months forever. But the future is always unfolding before us with its lessons and hopefully an internet full of proper and respectful comment etiquette. Until next time. And oh, this is strange. I... I have an unsent tweet to Ted Cruz on my screen here. At Ted Cruz, how many dicks can you fit in your butt before it counts as a company dinner? Uh, yeah, fucking tweet that shit. Pineapple out! Now on the SalviEric.com store, secure yourself a pineapple summer poster loaded with the best nutraceuticals to help you remember what it was like before fall rolled in, kicking off your seasonal depression. Also, here's a poster the globalists don't want you to see. It's all about science. That's a rocket ship right there. Not much more else to say about it. Nothing to see here. SalviEric.com store is your number one spot for posters, shirts, and other shit that we put microchips in to keep tabs on everything you're doing just to make sure you're not in league with the devil, aka George Soros. Where are my kids? <laughs>